out here. Um, some people are having trouble with Project 19, so let me show you what I do. And if anybody can tell me what's happening to them, I'd like to see it. Um, the only thing I can guess is that they're using an old version of the page and you need to refresh it because I did have to move it to a different server. So here's the right URL, attack.samsplash.info. If you can reset the database, then everything's working. And so now you can do queries like this one will select all the data from one of the tables. And you, you can select for a specific name. Uh, can you give me an example of one that doesn't work? I think it was like either the second or the third one. Give me some error message. All right. Let me see if I can reproduce this. Mm. There's a phone. There's a phone. Well, all right. Uh, save a screenshot and let me see. There may be something wrong, but um, oh, oh, this is not anything wrong. Oh. The, error, the messages are still here. You, 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 oh, don't let these errors, oh, that's not I understand. Don't let these errors fool you. I turned on error reporting on the server, so it complains about minor things, but you still see the data. Um, yeah, it's a good point. I can probably fix it to make it so it's less ugly, but it's still working. Um, okay, that, that's probably it, good, then I understand. All right, so down here you can put in names and search by name, and you can search, if you search for a name with an apostrophe in it, then you get a syntax error you should. Oh, I put it in the wrong kind of uh, quote, didn't I? I did. All right. Then you get a syntax error, which is what proves you have the vulnerability. And um, therefore, you can do things like, uh, like dump out the data, dump out the names and credit card numbers with a more carefully crafted name. All right. So yeah, if you, if those error messages don't mean anything that matters to us. And um, the thing worth knowing here is that you can upload a PHP shell, which is the way to solve the last problem. This is by far the best way to do SQL injection. Um, you upload, you can upload a file with any contents. So put it in a file here, I'll call it shell demo. You're gonna need to use a name that hasn't been used before because you cannot overwrite an existing file. But now I'll have temp shell demo.php that includes this contents that executes a, a command line command. So now I have temp shell demo. So to see it, you have to go here and then temp shell demo. And then you give it a command. So that does a, an ls command. Temp shell demo command equals ls and you can now do anything you want. And in particular, you want to echo some text into some file names to get your name on winner's boards. Um, but that's it for that one. And while I'm at it, let me go to Project 20. Some people had trouble with Project 20 also. And I hope this may help. I, um, so here's the tool you're using. Uh, the Havid tool, the free version, cannot handle HTTPS. So you have to go to this HTTP version of the search page. Now if you search for a name like X, you get no results, but the, all we want is the URL. There is no one in this database named X, but we need that URL. And if you go to Havij, you can put in that URL and then analyze your database. And if it's working, you'll see happy blue and green down here saying it's vulnerable. And then you can go tables, get databases, get tables, uh, and dump out all the data and steal, this is, and this is how people typically do it. One of these simple tools will do it all for you. So uh, that's how it's supposed to go. And I hope it does some good for people who are getting stuck. Uh, let me know if you have troubles. I put this thing off for another week in case people need more time, but uh, I hope that might help. Right now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on 